Hey guys, have you ever wanted to tell your teachers something but you never had the chance to do so? Well, that's what this video was all about. It's titled, Dear Professor, Intro. So I graduated college about nine months ago, but in my time at school, I wanted to tell my professor so many things. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to tell you guys three things that I wish my professors didn't do. Dear professor, don't call on me when my hand isn't raised. Look, if I'm not raising my hand, it's for one of two reasons. I might have no idea what the answer is, and if you call on me, I'm gonna give some bogus answer and look like a fool in front of the class. And I don't wanna look like a fool in front of the class. You feel me? Or I might actually know what the answer is and I just don't want to answer the question. When I was in school, I was kind of shy and I didn't like to raise my hand that much, which I think is okay. But when you call on a shy kid to answer a question in class, don't do that. I started sweating, my hands would get wet and I'd be like, uh, George Washington. And I know what you're saying, professor. I know what you're saying. But participation counts for 10% of the grade. Look, don't you be forcing me to get that 10%. If I don't want it, I'm not gonna take that 10%. You can have it back. I don't want it. Get away from me. Get away. Ugh, get away, get away. If there's a kid in class raising his hand and screaming, please pick me. I wanna answer the question. Maybe you should just call on him. I want to answer the question! Dear Professor, I don't understand how you have a master's and maybe even a PhD, but you don't know how to use a projector. I can't tell you how many times my professors or my teachers would have a problem with the projector. It would take up like the first 20 minutes of class just letting the professor hook up the, the projector correctly. If that's how you want to use class time, well then that's all good. I'm not going to tell you to stop. I just think it's really funny how you are incredibly, incredibly, incredibly smart, but yet a 13 year old could probably figure out how to use the projector like that. Pick me! Pick me, please! Dear Professor, what makes you think it's a good idea to schedule exams the day after we get back from vacation? I don't understand this at all. Come on, Professor, cut me a little bit of slack. Give me a few days. Give me just like you three days to, to get back in the studying mode. Then I can take off and ace that exam. But no, you want to give me the exam for the day after I come back from vacation. All right. You can do that, you can do anything you want because you are the professor of the class. But if you do this, I promise you there's gonna be an uproar with the students. You will have to feel their wrath, and I don't think you wanna feel their wrath. My teachers would always ask us, would you rather have a test before vacation or after vacation? And the answer, at least for me, was always the same, before. Why, because then we don't have to worry about it when we get back. And if I saw a kid raise his hand for after the vacation, I would get a slight migraine. Okay, now I'm gonna be nice. I forgive you for calling on me even when my hand isn't raised. I understand you're trying to help me get that 10%. I get that. And I forgive you for not knowing how to use the projector correctly. I get it, you're in front of a big group of people, you might get nervous, and you might just be thinking about other things. It's okay, I get it. But if you continue to schedule exams the day after vacation, I am not gonna take that hint. You know the website, RateMyProfessor.com? Well, students love to use that site to see which professors are the best ones to get. And if you keep scheduling exams at this time, I might have to go onto that site and lower someone's ratings by 10%, if you know what I mean. No, not you, get, get away from me! Hey guys, what's up? Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, be sure to hit like down below and subscribe to see all my future videos. In the comments section down below, finish this sentence. Dear Professor blank. Fill in the blank. Tell me something that you wish your professor did or didn't do, okay? Alright, thanks for watching guys. Until next time, I'm Audi. Bye guys.